guys, it's Sam Roby Clint here again for our virtual Sunday school. And I want to welcome you guys back. I haven't seen you in a little bit. We're going to read a great story today about planting vegetables. Now, maybe you're not thinking about that because it's winter time, but we're still eating vegetables. So we know that things are being planted all over the place. So we're going to learn about quote unquote ugly vegetables, but I think you're going to find out they're pretty cool. So the name of the book is The Ugly Vegetable by Grace Lynn. About a mom and her daughter. And a whole neighborhood. Let's get this right. All right. The pictures are really good. In the spring, I helped my mother start our garden. We used tall shovels to turn the grass upside down, and I saw pink worms wriggle around. It was hard work. We stopped to rest. We saw the neighbors were starting their gardens too. Oh, Irma, my mom called to Mrs. Krumerian. Mrs. Krumeran was digging too. She was using a small shovel, one that fit in her hand. Mommy, I asked, why are we using such big shovels? Mrs. Krumeran has a small one because our garden needs much more digging. I helped my mom plant the seeds and we dragged the hoses to the garden. Hi, Linda. Hi, Mickey, I called to the Fitzgeralds. They were sprinkling water on their garden with green watering cans. Mommy, I asked, why are you using a hose? Linda and Mickey use watering cans because our garden needs more water, she said. Then my mother drew funny pictures on pieces of paper and I stuck them into the garden. Hello, Roseanne, my mother called across the street to Mrs. Angalore. Mommy, I asked, why are we sticking these papers in the garden? Mrs. Angalore has seed packages in her garden because our garden is going to grow Chinese vegetables. She told me, these are the names of the vegetables in Chinese so I can tell which plants are growing where. One day, I saw our garden growing. Little green stems that look like grass have popped up from the ground. Our garden's growing, I yelled. Our garden's growing. I rushed over to the neighbor's gardens to see if theirs had grown. Their plants look like little leaves. Mommy, I asked, why do our plants look like grass? The neighbor's plants look different. Because they are growing flowers, she said. Why can't we grow flowers, I asked. These are better than flowers, she said. Soon all the neighbors' gardens were blooming. Up and down the street grew rainbows of flowers. The wind always smelled sweet, and butterflies and bees flew everywhere. Everyone's gardens was beautiful, except our own. Ours was all dark and green and ugly. Why didn't we grow flowers, I asked again. These are better than flowers, Mommy said again. I looked, but only saw purple, black, green vines, fuzzy, wrinkled, prickly stems, and a few little yellow flowers. I don't think so, I said. You wait and see, Mommy said. Before long, our vegetables grew. Some were big and lumpy. Some were thin and green and covered with bumps. Some were just plain icky yellow. They were ugly vegetables. Sometimes I would go over to the neighbors and look at their pretty gardens. They would show their poppies and peonies and petunias to me, and I would feel sad that our garden wasn't as nice. One day, my mother and I picked the vegetables from our garden. We filled the whole wheelbarrow full of them. We wheeled them to the kitchen. My mom washed them and took a big knife and started to chop them. I yow, she said when she cut them. She had used all her muscles. The vegetables were hard and tough. This is Shohong Gua, mommy said, handing me a bumpy curled vegetable. She pointed at the other vegetables. This is Sean Zay, and that's Tao Ho. I went outside to play. While I was playing catch with Mickey, a magical aroma filled the air. I saw the neighbors standing on their porches with their eyes closed, smelling the sky. They took deep breaths of air like they were trying to eat the smell. The wind carried it up and down the street. Even the bees and the butterflies seemed to smell the scent in the breeze. I smelled it too. It made me hungry and it was coming from my house. When I followed it to my house, my mother was putting a big bowl of soup on the table. The soup was yellow and red and green and pink. This is a special soup, Mommy said, and she smiled. She gave me a small bowl full of it, and I tasted it. It was so good. The flavors of the soup seemed to dance in my mouth and laugh all the way down to my stomach. I smiled. Do you like it, my mom asked. I nodded and held up my bowl for some more. It, made, it was made from our vegetables, she told me. And then the doorbell rang, and we ran to open the door. All our neighbors were standing at the door holding flowers. 
We noticed you were cooking, Mr. Fitzgerald laughed as he held out his flowers. We thought maybe you might be interested in a trade. We laughed too, and my mother gave them each their own bowl of her special soup. My mother told them what each vegetable was and how she grew it. She gave them the soup recipe and put some soup in the jars for them to take home. I ate five bowls of that soup. See, all the neighbors are having fun and eating the soup and sharing some time together. It was the best dinner ever. The next spring, when my mother was starting her garden, we planted some flowers next to the Chinese vegetables. Mrs. Krumerin, the Fitzgeralds, and the Anglehoes planted some Chinese vegetables next to their flowers. Soon, the whole neighborhood was growing Chinese vegetables in their gardens. Up and down the street, little green plants poked out of the garden. Some looked like leaves and some looked like grass. And when the flowers started blooming, you could smell the soup in the air. So wasn't that cool? She learned not only can you grow plants in your garden, but you can grow vegetables in your garden. Well, here in New England, we're not really planting vegetables right now, but we can plant some flowers and we can do it right here in our own house. So why don't we plant some sunflower seeds? I'm sure you've all done this, but it's really fun. It's something I like to do with my kids every year. And it's so easy. So the first thing we're gonna do, we need a paper cup. We're gonna need some dirt. You probably need some help from your mom on this. And we're gonna do sunflowers. So we're gonna get some sunflower seeds. We'll need some water because what we have to always water our garden, right? So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your paper cup and you're gonna put a little bit of dirt in it. And you just wanna cover the bottom. Maybe squish out some of the lumps in the bottom. Now we have a nice base of dirt. So we're gonna put two sunflower seeds in and we're gonna put them not quite touching. So they're gonna be a little separate. You can't really see it there. And then we're gonna put some more dirt on there. Cover them up nice and deep. Once we have our cup mostly filled, we're gonna add, what do you think we need next? We need a little bit of water. We're gonna cover our water. We're gonna make it nice and moist. You don't wanna flood it, but you wanna make it nice, nice and wet. So now you're gonna take this and you're gonna put it on the windowsill. And every day you're gonna water it. You don't want it to get dry. In a couple of weeks, you'll have a nice little sunflower. And the nice thing is, is that as the spring comes and the ground thaws, you can now take your paper cup and plant your sunflower right in your garden. It's something you started in the winter. So I hope you have a great time um, planting your sunflower seeds, and I hope you like learning about the ugly vegetables that actually made a most delicious soup. Have a great week. Talk to you later. Bye.